Next up, we have uh, architect Catherine Herbst. Um, Catherine is the uh, chair of undergraduate studies at uh, Woodbury School of Architecture, and she uh, uh, founded her own firm with her husband, uh, Robert. And she worked with uh, with uh, Rob Wellington Quigley for a while as well. So uh, we'd like to welcome to the stage Catherine Herbst. for those of you that want <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, we're ready. At school, cool is dangerous. It's risky in that it's a one-liner, or flashy, or clever. So what is in the question, what is cool? Cool, as in Ziggy Stardust, the thin white duke, David Bowie, cool. A slow ride of decades of reinterpretation and aging. Let's first dispense with the rumor that San Diego is cool. San Diego is not cool. <laughs> it may be fine, but a city can only have one moniker. <laughs> or cool as in temperature. Cool as in not hot. Ice is cool. Drinks with ice are cool. Craft beer, reclaim wood siding. All cool in San Diego for the time being. <laughs> there are lots of cool houses, not the 35,000 square footers, but modest work, cool work, done by the likes of Irving Gill and the folks up here tonight. Houses that give a little push, at some, but at some point, you get sort of tired of good work being private. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, and owned, and in the worst case, it's disposable. But then you look at the work that speaks about a place a time, a climate, a culture, and maybe just a little hint of a different future, a better future. You get nostalgic when you look at, look at the promise of the work like Rudolf Schindler at Pueblo Rivera, completed in 1923. 1923. Or Russell Forrester and his work for Jack in the Box, with his directness for brand, construction technology, and the Southern California car culture. Yes, it's a one-liner, it's clever, but it works for him. Gene Weston, up at UCSD, and in particular the Natatorium, where structure and light make the enclosure disappear. Glass, steel, wood, water, finessing the basics. Or Lloyd Morocco, up at IGPP, built in 1962 at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, the same year that Louis Kahn was uphill working for Salk, where a square foot at Salk bought five square feet down at IGPP. Lloyd Morocco was asked to, quote, provide a home for scientists, a place where, that they could carry within them all their lives. That's cool. Clients that, big, that dream big. As Kay Kaiser wrote in 1985, remember when we had critics in our newspapers? That was cool. <laughs> There's no artifice here, no tricks of style or pretension. There is just the clear striving of architecture in harmony with sight. Or Henry Hester at the Solomon Apartments, where a very rich guy hired a young architect and two young contractors to build his home on 6th Avenue overlooking Belleville Park. His home sits on a base of apartments, so in effect, the, his foundation is the home for 26 other families. Could be a bad metaphor, but see it my way. The city is denser for it, and the money did not go out to an enclave. Or Hal Sadler and Tom Tucker. Wearing their ambition for the, on their sleeve for their own office in Bankers Hill. Now that's self-promotion. Self no short film necessary. And the, long, and the no longer little tennis viewing pavilion over at Morley Field. Got a little hit on myself. Um, that wrecked the park, I mean par parks and rec, as stewards of the park, <laughs> through benign neglect and maintenance, just one day trimmed off the trellis. Ah, uh, San Diego. <laughs> the weather is so nice there, exclaims the visitor. But when you live here, the weather is nuanced, and as I get older and the days get hotter, I increasingly find myself searching for shade. 
not the evenly spaced tree kind of shade that surrounds every block kind of shade, but shade where you can be next to a sunny spot. And now I get to the to tonight's topic. My pick is the Cabot Cabot and Forbes building at 505 C Street, designed by SOM Los Angeles in 1991. We could poke fun at this building for hours probably, but in the San Diego edition of the LA Times, remember when we had two city newspapers? That was cool. Dirk Sutro smartly reminded us, quote, contrasted with the dimly lit claustrophobic claustrophobic lobbies common at most San Diego high-rises, this open-air lobby shows some fresh thinking, end quote. There are no doors between the inside and the outside. No gates that roll down at night. A security person is, security is a person with eyes on the street. Cabot Cabot and Forbes is not David Bowie cool. And it's not really even cool in terms of temperature because there's a huge chiller that air conditions a building that should have operable windows. But the ground floor hints at a possibility that it is easy and it should be the standard. Think of buildings with outdoor spaces adjacent to sunny sides. Think of the low sunlight, sunlight in winter sneaking under the edges of buildings and warming them up. Think of ground floors that are open and transparent. Think of sidewalks that have elbow room and think of restaurants with places outside to eat. It's San Diego, for Christ's sake. You're here because of the weather. <laughs> I like cool as in temperature, because the places I like in San Diego, in some ways, say something about the climate here. Shade, it's what buildings do. Our building, it's what buildings are good at. And there is an idea here about openness and generosity in the public realm by a private entity. A risk, a trust, but cool? As cool as Rocco, Rocco set out to make a disappearing building. Well, it's still here. When something looks radical and new, the older it gets, then it's just got it. The question tonight reminds me that San Diego was, is surrounded by, and has lost many unannounced landmarks that were coolish. If you're wondering about what the pop-up boxes and logos were, I get a little help from websites that like to seriously laugh at trends and fads. Good night and expect more. Yeah.